Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 8 power t equals 8. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. We are going to make use of two different methods. Now, in the first method, I can easily copy out this negative 8. I have negative 8 and I can express it as negative 1 times 8. So negative 1 times 8 is the same thing as negative 8. So I'm going to have negative 1 times 8 raised to the power of t. And this equals 8. Now, recall this identity if you have square root of negative 1. This equals imaginary number i. So if I take the squares of both part of this, this cancel this, so I'm going to have negative 1 equals i power 2. So negative 1 equals imaginary number i power 2. Then I come over here, I have negative 1 here. I'm going to replace it with this i power 2. So i power 2 times 8 raised to the power of t and this equals 8. Now the next step will be for us to make use of log. I take log of i to the power of 2 times 8 raised to the power of t equals log 8. So from here, if you have log of a power b is equals b times log a. So the t here will come behind the log. That means we are going to have t times log i power 2 times 8 equals log 8. Now also, if you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. I can apply this right here. So what I'm going to have will be, this is our a, this is b. So we are going to have t times log i power 2, that is our a, plus log 8, that is our b, and this equals log 8. Okay, from here, I can decide to isolate this t by dividing this by log i power 2 plus log 8. I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 8. So what happens here is that this cancel this. And I'm going to have t equals log 8 divided by log i power 2 plus log 8. Now that is not all. I can also consider this. If you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the 2 here will come behind the log. That means I'm simply going to have t equals log 8 divided by 2 log i plus log 8. So this becomes my answer, t equals log 8 divided by 2 log i plus log 8. And this is the first method. So we can consider the second method. Now we are going to copy the same question. Negative 8 power t equals 8. This is method 2. So right now, we are still going to express this negative 8 as product of negative 1 and 8 in this method. So we have negative 1 times 8, which is the same thing as negative 8, raised to the power of t equals 8. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So I'm going to distribute this t to each of these terms. That means I'm going to have negative 1 power t 
times 830, and this equals 8. Now let's consider this Euler's identity. If you have e power pi times pi, then plus 1, this equals 0. e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0. Then I can decide to make this the subject to isolate it. Then I will move this. Or let me make this the subject rather. Anyhow, it's still the same thing. So I would rather move this over here. I will remove this positive one over here. So I'm going to have e power i times pi equals negative one. All right. So if this is the case, and I have negative one here, I can easily replace this negative one with e power i times pi. So I'm going to simply have Instead of negative 1, I have e power i times pi. Remember there is t here. We still power of t times e power t equals 8. Now let's consider this identity. If you have a power n, we still power of m equals a power n times m. So I'm going to multiply this exponent out. That means I will have e power i times pi t times a power t equals 8. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to make use of log. I can take natural log. So let's make use of natural log of e power i times pi t times a power t equals natural log of 8. So, what I'm going to do is apply the property of lateral log. If you have natural log of A times B, this equals natural log plus of A plus natural log of B. I apply same here. I'm simply going to have natural log of E power I times pi T plus natural log of A power T equals natural log of 8. Now, if you consider this logarithm property again, if you have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. If you consider this property right here, the i times pi t will come behind this, the t will come behind this, so what you are definitely going to have will be i times pi t times natural log of e plus t times natural log of 8 and this equals natural log of 8. So right now natural log can cancel this e. Remember natural log times e is 1. So we have i times pi t plus this is t times natural log of 8. No need for this bracket, if you want, equals natural log of 8. So what do we do? Factor out t. There's t here. There's t here. Can factor out t. i pi t, keep right by t, I have i times pi. Plus, then this, divided by this, I'm going to have natural log of 8, and this equals natural log of 8. So, I want to isolate this. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 8. I do the same thing here. i times pi plus natural log of 8. So, right now, this cancel this. And our t equals natural log 8 divided by i times pi plus natural log 8. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our answer using this particular method. And remember, using the first method, we had this other answer. So the both answers are obviously very correct, depending on the method that you have decided to use.
So that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.